The Lord be with you. Happy Mother's Day to all of you, whether you're uh, a biological or uh, uh, adopted mother uh, or not. Um, mother is a verb and mothering is a verb and uh, we can all um, have that kind of motherly influence on those around us and our communities and in our world. And uh, we thank God uh, for um, those motherly ways and uh, we pray that we can exert those um, in our own lives and in our own communities. I need to say thank you to everyone who contributed very personal and precious memories and thoughts uh, to this service. Much like the Holy Humor service of a few weeks ago, what, uh, what came out of this is entirely built uh, on your thoughts uh, and your stories and your contributions. So thank you so much. There will be as part of the service uh, a brief history uh, of Mother's Day and as it turns out, the history of the movement to establish a Mother's Day, which began uh, in the United States, is directly connected to public health and the effort to uh, protect children from um, diseases that were fatal uh, at that time. So um, there's nothing new under the sun. We are uh, reliving that same kind of time again today. Uh, I would just say, uh, please, please do exercise caution. We know that the province, things are beginning to open up more and more. Uh, our parks will be open. Um, people can um, do more shopping and so on and so forth. Uh, but we really must uh, continue to exercise caution to protect ourselves and our communities. So, uh Remember to practice that physical distancing, um, to not really go out uh, more than you need to, to wash your hands, to avoid touching your face, all those measures that we're already tired of, but that we really need to keep practicing. Uh, and so we'll begin now with a poem. Uh, Joan May is uh, so good at our meetings. She always has uh, a verse or a poem uh, to share with us to begin our meetings and uh, so I thank her for lending me um, one of her books and this poem is called Mother's Garden and it's written by Linda Ward of Eureka, California. I remember Mother's Garden and the flowers I loved best and though all were very pretty the begonias led the rest. The petunias were a riot striped in pink and red and white. The carnations smelled so lovely, but their colors were not as bright. The lilacs grew on bushes that stood against the wall. The pale pink rhododendron took forever to get tall. In the planter near the stairway, in a shady little spot, where the ferns grew in abundance and it never got too hot, the begonias bloomed like jewels in a pirate's treasure chest with deep hues of orange and yellow and the red that I love best. I remember mother's garden and the lessons that she taught. If you have a love of flowers, you've a wealth that can't be bought. <laughs> 